Hey everybody, full crew, comedy, cigars, and music, and today's cigar for review is the La Gloria Cubana Spanish Press. That hat makes my head look huge. Huh. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting raisin, hay, and dark chocolate. There's that band there, pretty snazzy. You can see that huge hat in the background, that's me. All right, so starting off the cigar here. There is some oakiness, a little bit of uh, burnt popcorn, and I don't want you to be like, you know, taken off or put off by that, taken off. I think it's put off, put off by that. Um, because it's not real strong in there. Uh, there's a little bit of fruity sweetness in there. And then actually as I was blowing the smoke out, there's almost like a cola, like a Pepsi or Coke, probably like a Pepsi, I don't know. There's that battle between Coke and Pepsi. I would say Pepsi, probably more like a Pepsi. Cola taste as you're blowing that smoke out. On the retrohale, I'm getting some of that oakiness, a little bit of earth in there. And then on the finish, the finish is kind of spicy, a little bit of spice there, a little bit of earth there, and some of that oakiness there as well. Maybe a little sweetness, a little sweetness in there. All right, so there is a small crack developing right here. Um, I'm not gonna bother showing you that. But anyway, I'm hoping we can burn through that. So hopefully that crack won't be as distracting for the um, smoking experience as my hat is for your viewing experience. So, and before we all get too distracted, I do wanna thank our sponsor, 58ring.com. You can click the link in the description box below. That will take you directly to the site where you get a little money off, helps the channel out. So check it out also. Um, if you are so inspired, check out the new site we have, ComedyCigarsMusic.com. Um, I plan on putting more content up there. I'm going to put our top cigars of 2020 up there here in another week, week and a half, something like that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do some stuff over there. All right, we are well in the first third here. And I'll show you that burn. I haven't had any burn touch-ups, but I'll just show you where that split was because it's, um, it's burned right through that. You see that burn there? It's almost like Elvis's haircut. It's coming down really nice. Only if there was, there, and there is a little curl there. So yeah, let's say Elvis. Now flavor-wise, fruit, oak, leather, and cream, okay? And that fruity sweetness is kind of going through the whole flavor there. When you pull the smoke in, uh, when you're holding it in your mouth, and then, uh, Bad choice of words. And then when you blow that smoke out. On the retro hail, earth, leather, and cream. And then on the finish, some leather and spice. And that spice has stayed fairly more on the intense side and uh, has kind of kept through the whole cigar. And this cigar is actually performing really well. There has, uh, full disclosure, there's been times when I've taken draws off this cigar and there's so many flavors I just can't catch them all. There's, so there's, there's quite a bit of flavor in this cigar. Pretty good. The draw is a little bit loose, but no big deal really. And like I said, the burn has been good. I haven't done any burn touch up So I'm just waiting to see if it'll burn through Elvis's uh, uh, charismatic curl there. Now, components of this cigar. The wrapper is Nicaraguan, the binder is Mexican San Andres, and the fillers are from Brazil, Nicaragua, and the Dominican Republic. And Elvis's curl has left the building. It's a little bit cheesier than I like. All right, we are finished with the second third here. Flavor-wise, fruit, nuttiness, and some dark chocolate. On the retro hail, some fruit, just a little bit of that nuttiness and some leather. And then on the finish, on the finish, getting some leather, coffee, and just a very subtle fruit. I really feel like with the hat, I should post something, you know, with the caption, did a thing. Or is it hashtag did a thing? You know, kind of like the girls that get a haircut and then post did a thing. Especially, especially if they get a haircut and got bangs. That's a definitely hashtag did a thing for sure. Also, I just want to make a point that I'm not fishing for compliments regarding the hat. I don't want you to feel like you have to boost my confidence, uh, you know, by saying, oh, no, 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 the hat looks good. It looks good. Um, there's, there's never a time when a giant hat doesn't look good on somebody's head. 
Now the ash, while it has been holding on and falling off in relatively solid clumps, has been a little flaky. Um, as far as the burn goes, looks like Elvis is coming back for an encore. And uh, it's gone out on me twice here in the second third. I've had to relight it. Um, it is getting a little spongy. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the drill is pretty loose on this one. So we'll see what happens here in the final third. All right, finishing out cigar here. This final third here has kind of dropped off. There have been some flavors every now and then. It's gonna be a hint of fruit in there, vegetal note, and that vegetal note's kind of really taken over. Um, dark chocolate and a little bit of cream in there, okay? Now, in saying that, I've had to relight this cigar again here in the final third and do a burn touch up. Uh, Elvis was not gonna leave the stage on his own and to be escorted out. So on the retro hill, basically just that vegetal note. And then the finish has just been leather and that vegetal note. So kind of a crash and burn here at the end. Rating this cigar on a scale of four, I would give this cigar a two. I think it got distracted by the hat. Um, smoke output, I will say, was really good. Uh, the burn, especially in the first third, um, and into part of the second third was good. So. That's kind of where the old uh, Spanish press left me. Smoke time for this cigar came out to two hours and two minutes. As always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. Um, I did get a comment, maybe last review or the re review before, from somebody asking me to go back to my natural voice. Uh, that might have made some of you uncomfortable. It made me a little uncomfortable. Of course, that could have been the hat. I don't know. But uh, honestly, today I went back to a natural voice because there were really no other voices running around in my head today. So until next time, guys, be cool to each other, and we'll see you soon.